What's up you guys, this is Bugum a lot, and today I wanted to talk to you about CDs versus digital games. Now you guys, um, I was playing with my friends online and stuff, and we were playing one game and we wanted to switch over to another game, right? But my friend was too lazy to get up and change his CD. Yes, you need to put your CD into your Xbox um, whenever you want to play it. However, on a digital game, they're all in this little hard drive or your internal hard drive once you download them in there. And you can switch between games without ever having to stand up or anything. You just uh, go into your game files and put whatever game you want. You never have to stand up, change the disc or anything. Now, another thing about the disc games is you do have to keep them in their cover. Every time you use them, they're either going to be in your Xbox and or you're going to have to put them back in your cover, you guys. Do not leave them out. Okay, they easily get dirty or scratched. And once they're scratched, you guys, they won't play anymore. That's something that won't happen with your digital games. You know, you, you're going to connect your digital stuff in there. Uh, either you're using it or you're not, right? And if a game does get messed up, it's usually because it needs um, a DLC, something like that. Um, some kind of download. And or you could just delete it and put it back in here again. Uh re-download it and that should usually fix your problems so that's a good thing now another thing that my friend came up with is like you know and there's an old school way of thinking this i actually have something in my hand here you know you know where this he's like somebody could hack it nobody could hack this where somebody could actually hack your digital information now my answer to that is you guys first of all if you're dealing with Microsoft, PlayStation, or any any company that sells digital games, okay? First of all, you want to use your real information so you could always go back and access it. Second of all, I'm not saying that nobody can hack your stuff. They very well could, okay? Uh, I have no doubt about that, all right? And I'm not trying to get somebody to do that to me. No way. But Microsoft, PlayStation, and all those places do spend a lot of money in trying not to get hacked. See, it would be bad business for them if they were just hacking everybody. Also, if something like that did happen, I would hope they have something in place to help you out. That's why I say use your real information. Another thing, most people that get hacked, you guys, they're sharing information with other people. They, you meet people online, hey, I want that game, give me your information. They will log you out of your account, you guys, and take your information and all your games do not game share. Even though you could game share, do not game share with nobody. Unless it's your your little brother, your older brother, or somebody who lives in your house. But don't give nobody information online, you guys. Um, Let's see here. Another thing. So, speaking about that, you know. You think that this can't get hacked? You guys, you're not home 24-7. Somebody could just easily break into your house and take all your games. It's the same thing. Alright? So... Um, like I told you, I do like the fact that I don't have to get up and move, uh, to change the games and stuff like that. And another thing is, look at this. I have a couple games here, you guys. Okay. This is just three games right here. Okay. I have more than three games in this one little thing. Okay. And this one little thing, look, I could probably fit two of them on top of one game case. And I, and I have more than three games in here. It's just about as thick as that case right there. Okay, so you could hold a lot more information on this. So imagine if I'm trying to go to my friend's house, okay? And I have all my games downloaded in here. I don't have to take a big old stack like this. Okay? I would just have to take this or a few of these and have a whole lot of games. Even better, you guys. I don't even need to take this. Let's just say I end up in a friend's house somewhere. All I have to do is put my information into his Xbox and download any content that I want. All my games. Put them straight into his Xbox. That's something that you can't do if you forget your games. That's it. You forget these, you're not going to be able to play them at your friend's house. However, if they were digital, you can. Now, this is my last thing that I want to say about the CD versus digital. You have the new Xbox coming out, right? Which I hope to get in the future, you guys. It's just that... uh. Supplies are really limited at the time. But it seems like they made two of them, okay? One of them is going to play your CDs, and the other one's going to be completely digital. 
Now, the new computer that I got, you guys, is completely digital. Why is that? Because the CD part tends to break. I don't know if you guys notice how many Xboxes you have. It's always the CD thing that goes first. With the digital, you guys, you have less moving parts. Less moving parts means less things that could break. So, you guys, I want to know. Now that the new, box, new Xbox has come out, are you guys going to go with the CDs or are you guys going to go digital? You guys, let me know down below. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments and let me know what you guys think and what you guys think of the video. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, you guys.